and uh, we've got some great music for you tonight, um, music from the 30s. So as we look behind us in this beautiful concert hall, we're going to take you back to the 1930s with J-Bob and Lefty. Enjoy. Here's one of our favorite songs from 1939. One, two, three, four. My gal went away She knew I'd miss her night and day I just had to look around Oh, to see what I found Sweet substitute Sweet substitute She always tell me she's mine, oh mine Does everything I tell her, well, love is blind She's got such loving ways my poor heart in a daze My new recruit is mighty sweet and cute I'm crazy about my substitute I'd miss her night and day I just had to look around Out to see what I found Sweet substitute Sweet substitute She always tells me she's mine, oh my Does everything I tell her, well, love is blind She's got such loving ways Puts my poor heart in a day my new recruit is mighty sweet and cute I'm crazy about my substitute I don't want no other I'm crazy about my substitute Don't want no regular I'm crazy Crazy about my substitute Crazy Another one of our favorite tunes We're stuck here in 1939 Send me someone to love Is always the same. 
If man don't put an end to this detestable sin All the world's in flame Not just because I'm in misery I don't beg for no sympathy If it's not asking too much Please send me someone to love Oh, if it's not asking too much Please send me someone to love Yeah, if it's not asking too much Please send me someone to love Someone to love As long as we're at Carnegie Hall tonight, we're going to play you a little blues number. One, two, three, four. You might slip, you might slide, stumble and fall by the roadside, but don't you ever let nobody drag your spirit down. Here's our very favorite song from 1939. Two, three, four. <laughs> Bésame, bésame mucho Porque tengo miedo de perderte, perderte después Bésame, bésame mucho Como si fuera esta noche la última vez Bésame Bésame mucho Porque tengo miedo de perderte Perderte después Quiero tenerte muy cerca 
Here we are with uh, J. Bob and Lefty. Uh, you, we've heard the first couple songs from you guys. Amazing stuff. Um, let's let's talk a little bit. Why the music of the '30s? What what's so romantic or, or special about that time frame that really attracts you guys to the music? We've been trying to figure that out ourselves because neither of us were born during that time. But I think that it's I've got some uh, vestige of memory from when I was a kid, and you know my family and my parents were playing that kind of music, yep. and. Um, it, and lefties come from a, a similar, actually, a, well, in a certain way, a similar tradition, but he'll tell you about his background and why he's interested in it. Okay. But that's my story. Cool. How about you, Dan? Yeah, I, uh, I blame it all on my father, <laughs> who uh, was like Lou Costello with a violin. Okay. Not yeah. Jack Benny, but... No. Okay. <laughs> but he had a touch of that, too. He was quite a, a, a comedian and... Uh, an incredible versatile violinist and uh, he tended to swing everything he played nice nice yeah um so you guys are from uh, pepperell and mm -hmm. ashburn mass local ashburn boys Ham, yeah. did you guys grow up in the area mm -hmm. hell no hell no where are you, no, where are you no, from no. I, I grew up in connecticut, oh, yeah. connecticut. Okay. and we've we've both been around around the planet and yes. we found each other thank goodness because it's been a lot of fun playing together very yeah. cool. Well, you guys yeah. definitely make magic together. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. So I, I heard recently you guys played at the uh, Bull Run restaurant in Shirley. We did. In the lounge, yeah. Yeah, we play there every couple of months, and we've got a nice little following there. It's a great place. The owners are wonderful. Go to the Bull Run. You'll have it's, a good time. It's, it's, a, fun, <laughs> it's a fun place, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Good audiences. And you guys have a uh, CD out. We do. What's the name of that? It's called J. Bob and Lefty and Friends. Okay. What? And we, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say we have... a. Uh, uh, a friend of ours playing violin and uh, some backup singers and uh, Lefty overdubbed the drums nice. on that and played bass on that too. So but let's talk about the bass for a minute. Can you tell us a brief story <laughs> about that? This is this is an amazing contraption. This is something unique to you. Have you seen another one like this? It is. No, I, there are some models, uh, but there's so many differences. Uh, I, the list goes on and on. What do you, what do you call it? But I call it the boom bass. The boom bass. Okay, yeah. so this has got and, this uh, shillelagh thing going on. Where right. Do, yeah. The Get predecessor it. is the uh, washtub bass, okay. which the African Americans down south uh, came up with it. There wasn't much money down there, and uh, there's old photographs of them not only utilizing washtubs, and a broomstick and a clothesline for a string. Okay. But they also uh, used oil drums. And the banjo emerged from that time period as well, nice. it, based on old African designs. And uh, when the white folks started to hear it, they stepped up the technology on it. And uh, it's one of the few American instruments. Uh, we got the banjo, we got the electric guitar, and we got, I think, the boom bass. The boom bass is everything a washtub wanted to be when it done grown up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you've customized this to the max. Like this, the the, uh, the string here is actually not a string. What, tell us what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's an industrial strength a weed whacker line. <laughs> I love it. It sounds amazing. It took a long, long time to find the right string, let me tell you. <laughs> I think you got a, you got a big market here. You just got to kind of, you know. Cool. The video is about <laughs> YouTube and everyone's like banging on your door how, learning how to get one of these things. All right. And this is also a very special guitar, too. Tell us about this. It is. This is a, uh, a 69 uh, Gibson SR. And uh, they made it for a couple of years. And they were peddling it down south as a country and western 
for country and western musicians, and that's why they they made this fancy uh, pickguard okay. on it. But it's got it, it's a beautiful. It's you know toward the end of when they were making all the guitars by hand, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's it, this is my one and only guitar, and I've I I bought it in '69. I bought it in actually I bought it in '70. It's a it's a treasure. Yeah, it's a, it's a beauty.